Okay, let's kick off. Um, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for attending the presentation of our work. Uh, I'm, the, uh, I'm Jelly, the first author of our work. I'm so excited to present our work uh, that is to improve fairness between items uh, in terms of their exposure. Um, we proposed a game-based learning algorithm to tackle the fairness issue of recommendations based on implicit feedback. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the background first. Uh, there is an increasing number of state-of-the-art works are developed based on implicit feedback data. Since it's easier co uh, to collect, it can reflect the natural behaviors of users very well, um, such as the purchases, clicks on products. Therefore, it's widely used in uh, developing recommendation algorithms. However, uh, Due to the implicit feedback data only contains positive feedback from users, there is a challenge in the context of uh, implicit feedback by, uh, based recommendations, uh, which is how to extract the negative signals from the unobserved interactions between users and items. Since unobserved interactions are the mixture of negative interactions and unlabeled positive interactions. Most existing recommendation models based on implicit feedback mainly employ two learning strategies. Uh, heuristic, uh, which is uh, which treats all missing interactions as negative and assign uniform lower confidence on them, and the sampling, which determines which unobserved interactions are sampled and treated as negative to update model parameters. However, these methods only focus on maximizing user utilities to improve recommendation quality, but ignore the importance of the fairness in recommendations, which is another challenge in recommender systems. Conventional recommender systems aim to maximize the average utility to users by capturing users' preferences over items. Uh, however, these algorithms tend to cause fairness issues. The exposure of items is closely related to the interests of item providers, such as the revenue from product sales, job opportunity candidates can gain, and so on. Uh, the competitive relationship between items requires a fair way to allocate the exposure of items to users. Unfair allocation of exposure of items can cause massive effect, which means uh, the high ranked items are more likely to gather additional feedback to influence future rankings and gain more and more user attentions, where low ranked items will be marginalized gradually. Next, uh, let's move on to some uh, existing works. There are existing research on fairness uh, issues. They mostly focus on studying how to fairly allocate exposure to items. Uh, however, they don't explicitly consider uh, the challenge of implicit feedback data, while existing algorithms based on implicit feedback data don't consider the fairness issues in recommendations. Therefore, to fill this gap, we consider mapping the exposure fairness issue to the problem of lacking negative feedback in implicit feedback data in this work. So basically, uh, we don't explicitly treat unobserved samples as negative, but instead propose a fairness aware learning strategy to search the space of ranking that can fairly allocate exposure across individual items while maintaining users' utilities as high as possible. With this normal learning strategy, uh, 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 with this novel learning strategy in mind and the big success of GAN uh, in recommendations, uh, we propose a novel GAN-based learning algorithm called Fair GAN. It consists of two components. One is called Ranker, which first models user preferences only from observed interactions. Uh, the other is called Controller, which captures the distribution of items exposes according to the current ranking generated by the ranker in each iteration dynamically. With the capture the exposure distribution in hand, the controller generates and supplies fairness signals that enforce exposure of individual items to be equal to the ranker for searching the space of the uh, optimal ranking that can fairly allocate exposure to items and maintain users utilities as high as possible. Um, Next, let's look into the proposed fair game. First, we state the problem of optimal rankings. Um, 
uh, uh, in implicit feedback data, the user item interactions are defined as R, uh, where one represents an interaction between user U and item V, indicating a positive instance that user U likes V, where zero does not necessarily mean U doesn't like V. Uh, it's likely that U is not aware of V. Consider, uh, considering a scoring function F parameterized by theta that maps user and the item features to R, each entry R is estimated by the equation F of theta. The top K recommendation problem is formulated as estimating the scoring function F for ranking items. We use pi to denote the recommendation list of uh, top K items for user U by decreasing the scores that are estimated by the function F on all items of user U. The utility that U uh, gained from the ranking pi is denoted as tilde U of pi, while the unfairness of items over all users is denoted as UNF of pi, where pi sub K uh, is a set of recommendation list of top K uh, items over all users. We first consider searching the space of the uh, optimal parameters theta to induce the optimal rankings pi sub K that can maximize tail the U. And then we consider minimizing the unfairness between items in ranking pi sub K. The utility of user U can be commonly defined as a ranking metric and DCG over the ranking uh, pi sub K. And in this work, we consider the exposure based fairness issue across individual items. Uh, following the previous works, we first define the exposure of item V over the rankings pi sub K, where M is the number of users, B is a position bias indicating the relative uh, importance of the position that item V is placed at the ranking pi sub K. We set it to the standard definition in DCG if V is recommended to you and zero otherwise. With the definition of exposure of items uh, in hand, we can define the unfairness U and F of pi of individual items as an individual exposure disparity uh, uh, we call that uh, IED for minimizing the disparity between any pairs of individual items. We invoke the Gini coefficient, which is commonly used for measuring the pairwise disparity to denote the IED of pi sub k. The value of IED is ranged from zero to one, where zero expresses perfect equality that is all individual items have the same exposure. In this work, we aim to generate a set of rankings pi sub k, which is able to reduce the disparity IED as much as possible uh, while preserving the high utility tail of the U. After identifying the problem, let's look into the solution, uh, our solution fair again. Uh, the proposed fair again consists of two components, uh, which uh, where a ranking learns to capture users' preferences to maximize the tail of the U, and the controller learns to generate and provide uh, fairness signals to help the ranker with minimize IED. There are three phases in each iteration during uh, training fair again. Uh, the phase one is training the ranker of fair again. The ranker consists of a generative model and a discriminative model. Uh, given a conditional vector, the generator is expected to generate a sparse vector guided by the discriminator where all the elements uh, co corresponding to the user purchased vector are hopefully one. Here we use element-wise uh, product to drive the generator, not to get the gradient of the loss from the discriminator with respect to non-purchased items. So generator is trained only on positive feedback here. Then the phase two is training the controller of fair again. It also consists a generative model and a discriminative model. To generate uh, the fairness signals that can help ranker minimize the IED, the controller first calculates the distribution of the exposure of items based on the relevant scores generated by G of the ranker. The calculated uh, distribution is viewed as the target of controller's G. G 
G of controller takes the uh, relevant scores generated by G of ranker as an input and outputs the exposer uh, dense vector. Uh, where elements represent the exposer of items in the ranking derived from G of ranker. Through the adversarial learning between G and D of controller, G can dynamically produce the exposer of individual items based on their relevant scores in each iteration. Then the, gen uh, then the generated uh, exposure is able to completely mimic the target exposure distribution of rankings uh, uh, derived from G of the ranker. We next consider generating the fairness signals in phase three. Uh, the computation of a uh, real exposure distribution is not differentiable with respect to G of ranker. We cannot directly update its uh, parameters to minimize IED. Fortunately, G of controller has captured the distribution of target exposure. And due to uh, the straightforward relationship between G of ranker and G of controller, we can adapt G of ranker where E hat. We fix E of the uh, we fix G of the controller and directly update the G of ranker to reduce disparity by minimizing uh, IED of E hat. Yeah. Uh, the main advantage of the controller is flexible enough to uh, apply other different fairness objectives, including differentiable or non-differentiable ones beyond just the exposure-based fairness. Finally, the recommendation list pi sub k is derived from relevant scores generated by G of the ranker. To evaluate the effectiveness of fair gain, we conduct experiments with real world uh, e-commerce data set collected from Amazon. Uh, all elements of uh, our experiments are carried out by fivefold cross-validation and the average of results on test set is reported. We compared with five state-of-the-art utility-focused baselines and fairness-aware baselines, fair rank, uh, fair rank, rank, and rack. We employ common top K ranking metrics to evaluate recommendation quality and the fairness metric IED we defined. The larger quality metrics indicate the better recommendation quality, where the smaller IED means the fairer recommendations. We set fair gain at different levels of fairness controlled by the accuracy fairness trade off parameter alpha, denoted as fair gain one, two, and three, respectively. Fair gain with a smaller alpha and fair gain two and three are set different larger alpha. In table one, we can see fair gain one outperforms the state of the art utility focused baselines in terms of the performance on both recommendation quality, quality and fairness. Furthermore, uh, furthermore, the fair gain two and three are always able to outperform the best fairness aware baselines on both accuracy and fairness perspectives. To better illustrate the performance of all models on both, the, on both recommendation quality and fairness, we plot NDCG at 10 and IED at 10 results of all models in figure two. The results show that fair gain are normally in uh, left corner, uh, left the uh, top left corner, which represents the better recommendation quality and fairness compared with baselines on four data sets. The comparison between fair gain and baselines on NDCG and IED at different case settings are shown in figure three. The uh, fair gain one outperforms all utility focused baselines on both NDCG and IED at all case settings. Fair gain two and three perform similarly on fairness with REC but RAG sacrifices uh, much more recommendation quality than Fairgan 2 and 3, regardless of the uh, case settings. Yeah, sorry sorry interrupt, to interrupt you, just so that we already reached the, the, the time, okay. Um, and uh, we, we still can, um, uh, you still can continue for one or two minutes, but then we want. Okay. okay. Uh, let me <laughs> try to complete soon. Uh, we also uh, conduct uh, ablation analysis on each component of fair gain. From the results shown in table two, we can conclude all components of fair gain are essential for achieving the optimal performance in terms of recommendation quality and fairness. Uh, we also plot heat maps to investigate the components of fair gain. The yellow dots in the left graph of figure four represent ob uh, observed interactions where 
dark purple dots represent the unobservable interactions. The middle graph demonstrates that the training uh, the ranker only on observable interactions uh, leads the model to predict uh, all interactions as one, thus failing to capture the real distribution of interactions. Uh, in the right uh, graph, the output of fair gain is highly similar to the uh, data distribution in the left graph. It proves the effectiveness of the controller or on driving the ranker to such a space of optimal rankings so that the real distribution of interactions can be captured as much as possible. Okay, finally, we study the impact of key hyperparameters in figure five and three, uh, figure five and six, we investigated the impact of G step in ranker and controller and figure seven and eight are to show the impact of tunable uh, tree, trade of parameter alpha and gradient penalty coefficient lambda. Okay, well, okay. Yeah, in, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in conclusion, this work proposes a WGAN based learning algorithm called FairGAN, mapping the fairness issue in recommendations to the problem of lacking negative feedback in implicit feedback data. The proposed FairGAN consisting of a ranker and a controller applies a novel fairness aware learning strategy to search the optimal rankings that can fairly allocate exposure to users while maintaining the user utility as high as possible. Sorry for the timing. <laughs> Gee, so sorry for putting sorry. that much pressure. Yeah, are you listening to me? Sorry for putting that much pressure on you, but they really need the really need to stick to the schedule. Sorry for that. Um, we we only have a couple of seconds for Q and A, so I would uh, like to ask the audience if there is any question for Julie from the attendees of the session. Are there any questions? Uh, Julie, how, how much, how many GPUs did he use? Uh, quickly answering because you're just run out of time. If if you have a, a quick answer to that. Okay, uh, uh, we used four data sets. No GPUs in terms of the training. Um, uh, my, my question is is more related to how much does it take to train the model? Uh, I, I couldn't understand that from, from okay. the paper. Um, um, Actually, I, I uh, we are using the GPU of the Google Colab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and for each data set, I think it, it's no more than uh, ten minutes. I think it's 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 enough for training this model. 